Hello, everybody. Catherine from Dryer Days Art Studio. Thank you so much for being here today, bringing you the DD November Art Box. It's November 1st. I made these a couple weeks ago after I got home, and I'm using everything that is included in the DD Art Box with these beautiful little leaves here. I want to show you how I made these. So I only made three different leaves, but you are actually going to get four molds in the box so you can make four leaves at a time if you want so there's the extra one i'm just going to use these three today so this is a jam-packed box you can see up there to the left i have everything that you're going to get you're going to get that giant tub of copper rose leaf you're going to get three pigment paste which are the black cherry mocha java and the cream pigment paste there i'm just getting up some little fuzzies and debris that had gotten on the surface of my molds with some tape so there's the mocha java there's the black cherry there's the cream, antique lace mica pigment, and some deep gold shimmer pigment. You're also gonna get holographic gold glitter and dragon scales glitter. There was a lot of bubbles in there. All right, so we're gonna get moving here. I'm gonna do a little bit of clear on this big one here just to give us a nice base. I usually like to give myself a little bit of a clear base in the molds, but I will show you them, the smaller ones without the clear base and this one with the clear base and you guys can kind of see the difference. Um, it just gives a little bit more moisture. I call it kind of like your dry mold when you're just laying the pigmented resin right in. This is giving us a little bit of a base, a little bit more of a cushion. So we're gonna get some nice blending effects with our pigmented resin. And this was a big reason too that I wanted to use the clear. I wanted to incorporate some of this copper rose leaf onto this giant leaf here. Beautiful leaf, I love this stuff so much. And I was kind of winging it as I went, but as I started looking at this, I kind of felt like I wanted to have most of leaf to the left side of the mold here. And you'll see, I'm just gonna use my silicone brush to really move this around and get it in all the little nooks and crannies. So much fun. I love all of these colors together. I think they are beautiful fall colors. I hope you guys love them. Let me know what you think. And so I am showing you everything that's gonna come in the DD November art box. All of these items I do sell individually in different sizes and variants. So I will link everything below, not just the art box, but all of these products that I'm using. I do have a set of two of the clear leaves uh, that you can purchase. I don't have the little blue leaves anymore. They're exclusively in this box, but you can get the clear set of leaves on their own in my store in case you don't want all four of them. Those are available. Or if you wanna stock up and just Get a few more so here just laying on a little bit of clear resin just to get our leaf here right where we want it and kind of make it stick so it doesn't blow all over the place when i come in with my heat gun all right so i have pretty much all the copper rose leaf where i want it now on that big mold and so i'm going to move on to my smaller molds here have all of my pigmented resin ready to go and i'm going to start here with the cream so that is the cream, color cream pigment paste. This is the antique lace mica pigment mixed with my resin. And this is some of that holographic gold glitter. Now, again, this was a dry mold. So I didn't put any clear down. We're gonna see the different effects we get between these. And I'm just gonna sort of keep layering this in on each other until I fill out the whole mold. Don't forget your little stems. And I'm adding some deep gold shimmer now on top. Really nice warm colors in this box. I love that deep gold shimmer. It is so sparkly and such a fine mica that it almost looks like a glitter. It's so shimmery. You can see some of the <laughs> pieces in the air floating around in the camera. You do want to make sure you are always wearing an organic vapors mask, respirator, and I even have that on as I'm mixing and stuff because as you can see, you'll get little particles from the mica floating around and you want to protect your lungs. And I always wear black nitrile gloves. If you guys want to check out all the stuff that I use, I link it in every video and I have an Amazon store where I have all my favorite products. If you guys need heat guns, gloves, whatever, I have all that stuff. Okay, and there's some of the Mocha Java and the dragon scales. And again, this is a dry mold. I did not do any clear base on this, so we're gonna see how this turns out. 
And then I'm gonna use some of the black cherry. Just beautiful colors together. I love these dark colors. I love the light one too, but I think I'm gonna do a big leaf with these really dark, rich colors because they're just so beautiful. I'm gonna do a close up here so you can see how I really get into the little nooks and crannies here. So I just get some on my stick and I go right up into those little nooks and crannies, have a nice controlled hand. And there you can see how we just fill those out. There it is. So satisfying. Okay. Now I had a lot of glitter and pigmented resin left over on these. And so I'm going to start incorporating those into all of the molds just to use up all my resin so we're not wasting. So that is the Mocha Java there. And now hitting with some heat, pop some bubbles, get start these marrying the colors together as I like to say, really getting a nice blend. And we're gonna come back to the big leaf over here. All right, so like I said, I had a ton of the darker colors left over. So I'm gonna start incorporating them into this mold using the Mocha Java, drizzling it all over. And I'm gonna be doing a lot of drizzling. So this is that black cherry. So beautiful, it's one of my favorites. And I am running pretty low on the black cherry right now, but you are guaranteed to get some if you get this box, so. All right, now coming in with some of that antique lace here. Gonna have a beautiful sort of fade of really dark to light on this giant leaf here. So what I use these leaves for, I actually have a set that I made last year with the November art box, and I use them on my table. And they're just really nice for some holiday, Thanksgiving day decor. Um, every time people come in, they comment on how pretty they are on my table. I can set candles on these or even use the smaller leaves as coasters. They're just really pretty and really lovely and just season appropriate. And I do, I get a lot of comments on these. People really like them. Um, and these make great gifts too. We're getting into that holiday season and I make so many gifts for teachers and bus drivers and coaches and I can't even tell you, um, sorry, sorry about my head. <laughs> um, just using my silicone brush here to really get in those nooks and crannies and visually getting in there to make sure I'm getting everything nice and filled in. But anyway, back to the gift giving. So, you know, not only do the finished products make great gifts, the art boxes make great gifts too. So if you have a friend in your life who's wanting to get into resin and doesn't really know where to start, um, these boxes make great gifts. I do have people that buy multiple of them and keep one for themselves and give one away or two away. So um, yeah, these are available now. They are selling, so make sure you head over to Dryer Days Art Studio to get yours. And again, if you don't want the whole box, I will have each of the products individually listed uh, so you can check those out as well. But look at how beautiful these are looking, and I'm just going to kind of continue around to make sure I'm filling this out. And I wanted to make sure I was getting all of that gold leaf really covered as well so we didn't have any falling out or flying around being crazy. So now the fun part, I still had a little bit of extra resin, so I always like to pop them in these little heart keychain molds, and then I can make some keychains and throw these in for little extra goodies if people buy an art piece or coasters or even just give them to family and friends. They're just really cute and people really like them. There's that beautiful dragon scales in there with the black cherry. Just gorgeous, gorgeous glitter and pigment. So beautiful. Okay, so here these are all done. All right, so now these were the dry molds that we started with where we didn't put any clear down. And you can see here how the colors are very kind of distinguishable and separated. Not a ton of blending. The back here, of course, has way more blending than this side does. And let's check this out now. Like, look at how beautiful and blended this side is. So sparkly, gorgeous nice warm colors. And here's the dry side where we didn't put any clear down again. And you can see just a lot more separation. The colors are really closely in the same family. So 
Um, you can see the difference here in the colors and they blend nicely, but very much distinctive and separated, not like this side where it's very blended. Some of those dark colors didn't even sink down to the bottom. So now let's look at this one. This was a really unique one, right? We did this with the wet base of the clear and we also had a lot of that gold leaf incorporated, or I'm sorry, the copper rose leaf incorporated in here. So you can already see the blending is a little bit better with that clear base. And how beautiful the leaf looks in there. I think this just turned out beautifully with such a nice blend. Just going around getting some of the edges here. I'm really happy with how, how all these turned out. I think with the colors and everything available in this box, there's so many creative options. And look how pretty this side is too. Just beautiful. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you got something out of it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Head over to dryerdaysartstudio.com now to get your November art box. Thank you guys again so much. And until next time, keep on pouring.